Can you rocket ride the battle bus? Yes, you can. Guys, in this video, we are busting 50 myths. Let's get to the next one. The myth is you can relaunch the battle bus by driving over the Klondo mound right here. Oh my God. What are we dropping, boys? Can the chopper use a launch pad? Yes, it can. Okay, so there's a myth that you can still use the harpoon as you go into a rip. Got him. Oh, shoot. This myth is still true. If you throw a bubble shield on a truck at a very specific spot, it will bug out the car and allow you to fly. Oh my God. Oh my God. What the hell? What? Sheesh. This myth is confirmed and it's insane, dude. Okay, there's a myth that if you use this cannon and aim directly up on this launch pad, you will get an ultimate super launch and the myth obviously is true you just keep going up all right so there's a myth that you can kill dr sloan very easily by hiding behind these gates here at the gas station and apparently she won't ever really shoot at you when you're doing this she'll literally just stand there with a question mark above her head and you can kill her for free and get that mythic burst rifle without having to actually fight her so there's a myth that these slurp trucks are now actually filled with slurps and this one also gives you heals so two slurp trucks right next to each other in the middle of the map that could be very useful all right some of you might not know this but you can actually fall from a sky base or from a very very high structure into a bush and take zero fall damage just land in the bush and you will not take any fall damage all right, I want to see what happens if you have two balloons and you do the jump trick on the tire. Not too bad. Okay, for this myth, we're going to figure out if a car can avoid a locked on anvil rocket by going through a rift. Here's the rocket going out, went out. It, oh, it's, it went straight up. It's chasing him down. Oh my God. Okay, but wait, wait, wait. All right, Jack, start driving in now. He avoided it. It hit the ground and he rifted before it could do any damage to him or the car. Okay, so there's a myth that you can actually make this jump if you time the jump perfectly. Let's see if this is true. Oh my God. Yup. You can definitely make that jump. You just have to land on this umbrella. You can place a ramp right here and interact with the zip line above this area right here and pop up on the zip line come here and look up in this corner you'll see the interact button you press it and then you zip line out of the vault this is crazy so there's a myth that you can actually get through these roof windows by pickaxing through them okay i i actually didn't know that all right let's say you're running from zone and you need to heal quick usually you'll try to put a, a shield keg on the car but it's just gonna bounce right off so instead we're gonna throw a cow catcher and we're gonna throw the shield keg on the cow catcher and then it will stay and give you heals as you drive this myth is true and could save you the next time you're trying to escape from a squad all right for this next myth let's see if we can see for a chicken and detonate it to get a chicken elimination no it looks like the c4 it bounces off of the chicken all right guys myth busted all right in the season two trailer there's a scene where you slide under the tank and play c4 underneath it and blow it up and it looks super cool but can you actually do this in a real game you can. Come on, guys. Did you really think that was going to work? Apparently, there's a myth where if you shoot the webs with the Battle Bus cannons, it actually bounces off of the webs. Let's see if this works. Oh, shoot. Okay. Sheesh. All right. So there's a myth that you can still somehow have a max stack of armored balls in Season 2, Chapter 3. And the myth is true. However, you can't acquire more max stacks. As long as you still have them in your tent, they will still be there. And we actually made a video using a max stack of armored balls this season. So there's a myth that you can use the cannons to launch yourself into the air vents around Command Cavern and actually land on the ground. You need to mark the edge of the vent from whatever cannon you're trying to launch to. You're going to line up these blue dots to be in the middle off the arrow and we go straight into the hole just like that you're gonna hit the top you're gonna land and then if there's anyone hiding down here you can easily kill them 
can you launch yourself from a cannon into a helicopter yes you can ninja actually pulled this off in a real game so this myth is confirmed we got a myth right here can a lightsaber deflect a tank shot it cannot all right so for this myth apparently if you shoot the back of the tank the engine right here it actually overheats and whoever is operating the tank cannot use the cannon or the turret all right i got another myth with the stinger the reload animation is not lined up with the actual reload time of the stinger so you can cancel the reload by sprinting as soon as you see the 30 instead of having to wait through the whole reload animation all right we're gonna figure out if we can transport c4 using a chopper yep and art the chopper took no damage because it's my teammate's chopper for this myth we're gonna figure out if we can get an rpg kill from across the map by teleporting back to hub after shooting this rpg okay so i, <laughs> I guess putting the pool party backlink on dr strange glitches the backlink above his head and just looks absolutely ridiculous so this myth is confirmed okay so apparently llamas actually leave a rift behind if you don't end up killing the llama i've actually seen this but if you end up killing it right as it teleports you'll get the llama loot and the rift nowadays it just leaves the rift if you miss out on the llama which is a good way to reposition all right we're trying this mission impossible myth where you hop out the chopper and then rift back up to catch the chopper before it hits the ground let's see if this is possible and hopping out landing in the rift perfect and now we just gotta get down into the chopper there we go it works all right we're gonna see if we can deflect or blow up an rpg shot using a c4 i gotta try to deflect the rocket ah! Dude, it's stuck onto the rocket, though. There's also a myth that you can get free skins by just playing Arena. You can actually unlock a weapon wrap by playing Arena, and there should be more rewards coming in the future. Okay, so there's a myth that using balloons with lightsabers will glitch out your character. Let's put this myth to the test. We'll start off with one balloon. Jump up. Lightsaber. Oh my god, my legs are literally breaking. This myth is true. If you guys remember, Clix had an insane bug that happened during a zero build tournament where he shockwaved off the top of a tank and it just like sent him flying. So we're gonna try to recreate this right now. Three, two, one, go. All right, so the timing for that one probably has to be exactly perfect. This myth is probably true, but for now it's not confirmed. All right, there's myths about the end of season event that's happening. And actually in the game files, there is DD or Doomsday. And in the orders loading screen, you see Dr. Sloan uh, kind of investigating something that looks like the device that Midas used to try to stop the storm. And I'm pretty sure there will be an event countdown happening on Wednesday. All right, guys, so there's a myth that if you use a repair torch, you can repair any metal object. And if you do this with your teammate, you can farm infinite metal. And I'm just going to start pickaxing this while my teammate just repairs. So this one truck right now has already given me 150 metal. So that myth is confirmed, but I'm pretty sure Epic nerfed this because it used to be a lot more overpowered. For this myth, we're going to test to see if we can combo balloons, jetpacks, and flint knocks to have insane height and pretty much constantly be in the sky. We're going to start off with this one flint knock shot. It's setting us all the way up. As you can see right here, there is a height limit. The jetpack actually makes me go down for some reason. So eventually you run out, but it's honestly not a bad way to stay up in the air for quite a, quite a bit. So repair torches repair vehicles. Hypothetically, could you create an invincible helicopter using a full team of repair torches? Yes, you can. We did this actually, and we won the game the entire time in the helicopter and was never really in jeopardy of blowing up either. Sometimes people try to save themselves using shock waves by throwing it on the ground, but people never really quite get it i'm hearing that 25 meters is when you need to throw the shockwave okay okay can you save your teammate using a flint knock as they're falling down from height we just saved him he had no health that would have killed him can you save your teammate with a harpoon let's find out Yes, you can. It's actually a lot easier. You just have to shoot it from right underneath them. And we're going to see if the sharks can actually launch the battle bus. Oh, okay. Did not. Oh, okay. 
Myth confirmed. It does a little tail swipe. It just sends you flying. There's a myth that if you launch into a trash bin from a cannon, you will actually bug out the trash bin and your character. While I'm in the air, guys, bonus myth. 70% of you are apparently not subscribed. This myth is true. We're about to la land in the trash bin. Oh my God. Why is my screen shaking? I'm still spinning. <laughs> so can you fish using the battle bus cannon? Let's take a look. You cannot. This myth is busted. All right, so there's a myth that if you cannon into a bush, you will fall to your death, even though you're not supposed to. And as you can see from this clip, I cannoned into this bush and fell to my death. And I'm not the only person this has happened to. I've seen other people post the same clip. So this myth is confirmed. All right, so there's a myth that if you drive past a certain spot on the map, you instantly die. We have the spot marked right here. You drive over it. All right, guys, they fixed this, but I was definitely a victim of this bug in one of my matches. All right, can you save yourself from fall damage by falling and mantling before you hit the ground? Let's find out. It doesn't work from a certain height. If you're three tiles above and you fall, you should be able to mantle. All right, guys, the bubble shield is in the game and you know you can put it on cars to protect yourself, but can you put it on a helicopter? Let's find out. So let's say I'm getting focused by a team and I'm in the heli. I'm gonna go ahead and swap seats. And I'm just gonna throw this thing right on the chopper. Now I have a full protected helicopter. This is crazy. All right, can you fly a helicopter through the tunnel of Command Cavern, James Bond style? I think the wings are just a little too wide for the tunnel, unfortunately. All right, guys, there's a myth that Mystique has been nerfed. She used to be able to transform into players or skins that are not released. This has been changed. Now, if you kill, like, let's say this NPC down here, I'm going to try to transform into this henchman who has insane movement. Nope, it turns me into a default. So the biggest unsolved myth so far is Fortnite Creative 2.0. When is it coming out? Can we expect it later this year? This is going to revolutionize Fortnite as a game and the content around the game. But we just got confirmation from CEO Tim Sweeney that Fortnite Creative 2.0 is scheduled to come out this year and will be available for everyone. Fortnite will never be the same. Thank you guys so much for watching these 50 myths and don't forget to like and subscribe.